members of the Trump administration have announced their resignation. Bruce Lavelle is the head of the National Diversity Coalition for Trumps, and he joins us now live. Bruce, thank you so much for joining us and taking the time this morning. Good morning, Good morning yeah. to you. We've learned that Stephanie Grisham, Matt Pottinger, now Mick Mulvaney, are resigning from the Trump administration. What do you make of these resignations? Do you anticipate there to be more in the next 13 days? Well, I'm still here, Emma. Thanks for having me and Newsmax, uh, all the viewers out there. I'm still here. Listen, let, this is something I, I just want to speak very candidly to the to your viewers in, in America. You know, when this movement started, it was a movement. It was a Trump movement. Um, it was a certain type of person, myself and, and many more back from June, when we had 18 other candidates. That spoke in volumes in itself based on the type of people that were standing with the president. As we went on and we progressed on and the president became popular, then we had some new new folks trying to come to the party. You know how that is. The Klingons, the Tagalongs. Okay, we'll take it like that. And they come on and we say, okay, well, let's let them in the tent. We'll, we'll work with everybody. I always question a lot of folks in terms of their, their stamina and their loyalty. So it doesn't surprise me because, listen, guys, this movement, this is an American revolution. Mr. Trump, I know you're watching this because I, I text over there to make sure you see this. Just to remind you that we all got involved with this because this is a living, breathing American revolution. You promised to come in and, and take the country back and give it back to the regular common man and common woman, which you delivered. You would not take pay to play. You would you you went in on this promise. That's that's very profound because generations of other presidents always, you know, they paid to play in order to get elected. And you defied that and you stood strong with that. Therefore, you had 75 million folks who still with you that support you. So answering your question, Emma, these folks, they don't have that same spirit, that spirit of what's in it for me or what you can do for me instead of you coming and serving the country instead of you wanting the country to serve you. So. You know, it's uncomfortable, but if you look back 20 years ago, the president had a, at an interview about, you know, sometimes you have to lose a lot of things and go through some times to really find out where you really are and who's really with you. I don't like that we had to go through this, don't get me wrong, but I'm very optimistic because I'm still, still optimistic that the American people are going to prevail. All the darkness is coming to light. He's proven that. Everyone stay calm, stay, stand fast. We're going to be okay. God's got this. Listen, the Lord did not bring us this far to leave us or forsake us. Trust me on this. I have lived by that my whole life. The president lives by this. I know he has because he has told that to me. He spoke that to me hmm. many times. So listen, you probably see some more, you know, this is not for everyone. You know, this is not for the weak. This is for the strong. So we invite the strong. And by the way, the strong We'll take care of the week. You just sit on over there and let us take care of this for you. All right. So, yeah, well, yeah I, it Bruce, doesn't surprise clearly, me, but I'm very optimistic. I'm okay. very happy because I know, uh, like I said, God didn't bring us this far to leave us or forsake us, Emma. And your Sorry support, your support is still there. Max I know. Audience, that's okay. No, that's we're, 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 we're very glad that you take the time to join us this morning. And, Bruce, as, as you were saying, there were tens of thousands of peaceful protesters who gathered in D.C. yesterday, uh, clearly showing their support for the president. But do you believe that their movement was overtaken and overshadowed by those who stormed the Capitol yesterday? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Listen, I, I, I wanted to go, but I spent more time being privileged and honored to be on Newsmax shows. And I've done a lot of hits with you guys. So I stayed here at the studio. But I'll tell you, I have boots on the ground, friends on the ground. They were constantly texting me and messaging me. It was very, very peaceful. I am perplexed in terms of how easy it was for for people to, to come through the Capitol. It's almost like inviting them, come on in, come on in. But, you know, that's another story. But, you know, listen, at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, uh, there, there was a, some unfortunate parts about some people being hurt and killed. And, and, and my condolences go to all the families. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we went through similar similar stuff like this when we had Antifa and we had churches burning. We've had autonomous zones. We went and it's so biased out there and it's so so much hypocrisy going on based on what the term, quote, peaceful protesting is. So, listen, at the end of the day, you know, I know in my heart that that the light is going to come upon this great nation. We just got to stay strong. And to all the folks that want that that want to go back out and and just stay strong with the president, we're still here. He's still with you. No one's gone anywhere. 
you know, it's, it's great that we have a great news show like Newsmax that can actually articulate, you know, the real news. Hashtag real news Newsmax. That's the new one out there, folks. Make sure you put that on there. Mm. So I'm thankful for you having me on there. Yeah. And let me, uh, you know, vent out Bruce, my uh, concerns. Yes, absolutely. And, and I, d- I just want to interrupt because we're, we're running short on time here. And I do want to get to some sound bites, though of someone on another network who is already criticizing the president coming down pretty quickly and harshly. This is Brian Kilmeade of Fox and Friends. Here's what he had to say this morning. Let's be honest. Since November 3rd, when we got the verdict by November 5th, the president's uh, behavior has been terrible. Uh, It has cost him two Senate seats. We know that for sure. It cost his party the majority in the Senate. We know that for certain. We also could say this uh, about the president of the United States. He honestly believes to every fiber of his being that he actually won this election. The problem is his legal team has not had any success at all proving that. Uh, you know, that that's a face and a name and a news anchor who's been a long time, some, uh, what appears to be a supporter of Listen. the president um, on Fox News, and now he's he's making those statements. Your thoughts about that? Got about 30 seconds. Yeah, but let me tell you something. I remember when we used to travel, especially back during the campaign, those very folks would literally beg, beg, and beg, and like, please, please, Mr. Trump, can you please come on my show? So, I mean, they would beg, beg, and beg. So it's very laughable to see them out here, you know, all of a sudden putting on another hat. Listen, you know, what? once again, this is all part of it, whether it be press, whether it be followers or so-called supporters. This is part of the control-alt-delete. I use that term, control-alt-delete, to with the real folks that really care about this nation— News folks, patriots, business people, whoever you are, American citizens, will you please come forward? So like I said, this is uncomfortable, but this is actually going to be better for America. This is going to be healthy because now we're going to find out, OK, who's really with us? Who's really who really cares about this nation instead of just putting out sound bites and creating chaos just to make ratings? So mm. I'm not really concerned with that. There'll be more. There's going to be some more that's going to surprise you. So listen, but it's just noise. It's just it's junk in, junk out. But at the end of the day, we had 75 million plus people. We had the highest black vote we were turnout in the nation's history since 1960, the lowest, highest Latino. Listen, this man, I was very privileged to help write on the platinum plan. When he came to Atlanta and introduced a half a trillion dollars worth of resources, and infrastructure to black American underserved communities, the folks that were always lost. So I am very happy of everything we've done and what we're going to accomplish, even as we progress on, no matter if Biden's in there or whoever. So I am still with this. I am very happy. I'm optimistic. And I challenge all the Newsmax people, just hang in there. God's got this. Didn't leave us this, bring us this far to forsake us. And thank you, Emma. I appreciate Uh, it. You got it. Hey, you took us to the top of our next hour. We appreciate you taking the time. Bruce Lavelle, thanks so much. Thank you. God bless. God bless Newsmax viewers. Thank Thank you. Thank you.